world has experienced severe land degradation due to deforestation, climate change, drought, desertification, and unsustainable land uses. Consequently, the productivity and health of farmlands, grazing lands, and forests are damaged, which in turn harms the individuals and communities who depend on these resources for their food supply, health, and income. As a result, many rural populations in the developing world suffer from malnutrition, loss of opportunity, increased vulnerability, and poverty. Migration increases as people move away to earn a living, which can also lead to family fragmentation and increased potential for conflict. This is not a safe or sustainable future for rural communities, nor does it help the growth of nations reliant on primary industries such as agriculture. Drought, famine, floods are a result of cutting down trees Farm-Managed Natural Regeneration FMNR, is a quick, low-cost and sustainable technique that restores and improves agricultural, forested and pastoral lands. It involves the systematic regeneration and management of trees and shrubs from existing and living tree stumps, roots and self-sown seeds. Restoring ecosystem health also builds resilience of people, their lands, and their livelihoods. So, the severity and impacts of environmental shocks such as drought, flood, extreme storms, and insect attacks are decreased. Communities, in turn, are less likely to suffer a total loss having a more diverse natural resource base to draw from and recover with. Hence, Farm-managed natural regeneration is not the planting of new trees, but a technique that restores and improves agricultural, forested, and pastoral lands. Some of the problems that farm-managed natural regeneration tries to solve are poor crop yields due to poor soil fertility, erosion, drought, flood or wind damage, insufficient wood supplies for cooking or building, and reducing conflict over natural resources. Here is how to practice farmer-managed natural regeneration. 1. Survey the land. Through surveying the land, you should note how many species of trees are present and identify the sprouting tree stumps and seedlings. While selecting the stumps that you want to regenerate, select the ones that best suit your objectives. For example, do you want to produce firewood, fodder for livestock, or do you need trees that will improve food production on your farm? You should know the answers to these questions before selecting the stumps to regenerate. 2. Pruning For each stump, select the best five of the best stems to keep and prune. If there are fewer, select all of them. Remove unwanted stems and side branches using sharp tools such as saw, axe, machete or so that you can make clean cuts. This will help the stems recover more quickly. It is important to cut in an upward motion when pruning to avoid bruising the stems. Avoid cutting in a downward motion as this will affect the tree's ability to regrow and this could be the entry point for diseases and pests. Cut off all the stems you do not want to keep, but do not throw them away as they can be used in many ways. Cut off side branches from the selected stems to almost half the trunk. Do not prune stems too high up, as this will make them prone to damage from strong winds or livestock. 3. Follow up. It is advisable to prune every two to six months. This will stimulate faster growth. It is also important to keep livestock away from regenerating trees for six months to one year after the first pruning to promote stronger growth. It is important to plan for pruning at the time of the year when conditions are favorable for tree regrowth to increase chances of success. When the community is empowered, confident, innovative and ready to share their experiences, 
Farmer Managed Natural Regeneration FMNR, becomes effective and sustainable in the long term. The community needs to understand the environment and identify what is needed to improve their lives, change the way they think about and manage the environment, create and implement bylaws and other agreements on sustainable land management, income generation and coordinate farmer managed natural regeneration and natural resource management in the community. For instance, land and water use management plans and bushfire structures. When possible, work with the government officials and others to create a favorable legal and policy environment in which they work and live. Share their experience and knowledge with others to ensure the spread of farmer-managed natural regeneration and its benefits. Involvement of the whole community is required to effectively practice farmer-managed natural regeneration, including women and men, elders, young people and children, people with disabilities, community, traditional and faith leaders, community groups such as cooperatives as well as any minority groups. Collaboration amongst all community members is crucial, with each having a major role to play in the success of farmer-managed natural regeneration. Some of the benefits of farmer-managed natural regeneration are 1. Economic benefits Increased crop yields often double or triple Increased fodder from edible leaves and seed pods and, in some cases, increased pasture growth higher livestock productivity and survival, reduced impact from floods and drought as trees provide alternative income and livelihood sources making impacts less severe and recovery faster, increased income generation through diversification for example timber and fuel wood and intensification of activities. Economic flow on effects such as employment and greater purchasing capacity. Increased economic activity such as the development of new business models such as cooperatives. Social benefits. Increased food security and nutrition including native fruits, nuts and seeds. Less distance for women and children to travel to collect firewood. Community capacity building to deal with local, regional and national governments and regulators. Education and training in farming and marketing. Reduced need for migration by young people and men to cities. Higher incomes resulting in better opportunities for medical treatment, children's education, nutrition and clothing, etc. Empowerment for community members to live independently with hope for the future. 3. Environmental benefits. Reduced erosion. Reduced soil moisture evaporation due to windbreaks shedding and mulching. Increased soil fertility. Improved soil structure through greater quantities of organic matter. Increased water infiltration and groundwater recharge. Increased biodiversity, environmental restoration and tree cover. And lastly, enhanced resilience to climate change. Farmer managed natural regeneration is a method that can improve the conditions of landscapes and, if combined with the development of community structures and regulations, can be a good approach for enhanced protection against the impacts of climate change and improved production conditions for farming and livestock.